Hey there. Just in the last video, you loaded your file onto Lightburn and got it onto a flash drive. Now you want to be able to cut your file on the WHS Tech Ed laser cutter. So firstly, you need to turn on the laser cutter. To turn on the laser cutter, you need to turn this key, flip this switch, and flip this switch. This is the cooler, this is the fan, and this is the laser. You need to make sure that all three of these are on to ensure that the la uh, laser is working properly and safe. Now, we can op up, open up the bed here, and you can see that back here is the laser, laser nozzle. This is where the laser comes out of. And if you come back over here, you can see the manual tab. If you click on this, you can see this UI where you can control the laser nozzle using these arrow keys. The, narrow, the arrow keys correspond to where the laser nozzle will move. Left and right, move the laser nozzle left and right, and up and down, move the laser nozzle up and down. If you ever need to move the laser bed, you would use these Z minus and Z plus keys. As you can see, the laser bed will move closer or farther away from the nozzle depending on which key you press. Z up is closer and Z minus is farther. Now we need to load our file. If you click auto and then file, you can see that we see all the files within the memory. If we put our flash drive into this port on the side, and then come back here and click on UDisk, the laser will access our flash drive. Now we can flip through all the files on the flash drive that are RD files, the one that you saved your file as in the Lightburn video. If we click on, say, this file and press copy, it will copy this file back over to the laser, meaning you can remove your flash drive if you want to. If we go to memory and look for our file, it is right there, GSC. So, oh, you can press select and it will take you back to the auto screen. Now, one rule the laser has is that it cannot have more than 90 files within its memory. So if you try and copy a file over with 90 files already in here, it will not properly copy over meaning that you'll have to delete some files. Now let's move on to setting your origin. Using the manual controls, put your laser nozzle where you want it to be for when you make your cut, uh, say about right here, and then coming back to the manual screen, if you press the center button right here, you're, you are now setting its origin. The origin for your laser cut will always be at the top right corner of your file. So when you make your file in Lightburn, always keep that in mind. Moving on, if you click back to auto, we can see two buttons that are uh, needed for making sure that your laser cut will be ready. If you click the frame button, the laser nozzle will make a square around the approximate size that your cut will make. Always make sure that the frame is never larger than your material or your cut will not be proper. Now, even more importantly is the focus button. When you press the focus button, and it will, the laser nozzle will move initially down, touch its material, and go back up. Lasers have this property where they need to be a certain distance from their material to make a proper cut. But if the laser is too far or too close, your cut will not be proper. Another thing to understand is that different materials have diff different thicknesses, such as wood or acrylic. This means that if you are going to be working with wood or acrylic, it, you need to make sure to always refocus the laser. For example, I could focus onto this acrylic right here. That's the wrong button. I could focus onto this acrylic right here. And you'll see it'll do the same process. We'll go down, touch the material, and come back up. Same for the wood that's right there as well. But why don't we move back to our origin point? <clears throat> One note I'm going to step in here if you're trying to zero your focus on the edge of cardboard, there's a chance that cardboard can move up. So it's always good to move in a little ways, even if you're going to cut on the edge, to move in a little ways to focus it, and then go back to your origin for your actual cut location. Just depending on the thickness of your material, you don't want the grates uh, to interfere. The other thing mentioned is that your focus point is always in the top right corner. If we look in Lightburn, it's set up as default that way, and that happens to be that little block right there. If you want to use a different corner for whatever reason, you can under user origin and grab a different dot, but it is defaulted in your software for the top right corner. All right. Now, if you know that you are properly focused and that your frame does not go off of your material, you can get ready to start your cut. So you close up your laser, your door, 
and you would click Start. As you can see, this red light comes on, and if you look inside of the laser, you can see that a cut is being made. Now, there are multiple things you should look out for when cutting on the laser. One thing is flames. If there's any fire, this means that you might be having too high of power, too slow of speed, or your fan may not be on. If any of these happen, you have the potential of damaging the laser or just getting a bad cut. If you're not cutting all the way through or having issues with that, that could also be a problem with your power or your speed. Finally, if, your cut is, if the lines on your cut are looking very wide, this means that you did not properly focus. You need to refocus your or a laser before you make the cut. Also, if your nozzle, when you start the cut, goes somewhere else, not where you intend for it to go, this means you didn't properly set the origin, and you need to set the origin for your cut. Now, the cut should be very quickly done about now. There you go. So, when you finish a cut, you always want to give it a moment so that any fumes from the cut will be extracted by the fan. Uh, especially with certain materials, such as acrylic, a very pungent smell can be made. So it's best to keep the laser door closed for a little while. With cardboard, it isn't, it isn't uh, too bad. Sometimes it smells like a campfire, but otherwise it's still good to make sure that nobody gets sick to their stomach. So as we can open up the laser, you can see your cut right here. You can see usually the cut will fall out pretty good if you set your laser to the right settings. And if you can look around the cut to see for any burn marks, which would be caused by a fire, or any rough cutting, which may be caused by any um, having an unfocused laser. On the other side, you can see there's no burn marks, which means that we had a properly set up laser and a properly set up cut. Thank you for watching this video on how to use the WHS TechEd laser cutter, and good luck.